Good morning everyone, this is Shankar Ponsele and I am ready to teach you something today. Do your emails go to spam, specifically when you send email newsletters, right? I can help you with that, this is going to be very important. Um, by the way, I have taken off my glasses because I was told it doesn't look good. Yeah, so you should, people should be able to see your eyes, so look me in my eyes. Okay, okay, so who has problems with their emails going to spam? So most of us who are in marketing and most of us who own a company and want to send out email newsletters, very powerful by the way, have that problem that people who even sign up don't get the emails. Okay, so we all know there are things you can do. You can ask them to add your email address to the contacts. You can ask them to double opt in so that the, their mail server kind of knows that whatever message comes from that email sender is friendly, okay? But um, it still does not always work, okay? So most of you might be familiar with something like, for example, MailChimp. MailChimp being actually a very good newsletter, email newsletter service. And the great thing about it, it is for free for up to 2000 subscribers. You just, you just wanna get your feet wet and check it out, you know, see if you can even be consistent enough to send out email newsletters. That is the way to go. Now, I have tried something else recently that I want to show you. It's a little bit advanced, so MailChimp is for the general public, okay? Those who are not technical at all and who want to send out email newsletters. Great service, if you use it and are happy with it, keep using it. However, there is something else that you should give a try. So how is it possible that your emails go to spam, but let's uh, take for instance uh, big companies such as, you know, let's say Starbucks or Uber or Lyft, you know, how come their emails always get into your inbox and never into your spam? It is because they don't use a mass email server. They use uh, email services that are more transactional, that instead of pushing out uh, 100,000 emails at once or in blocks, they use email servers that for each email, it's kind of an individual independent transaction. And one of those services is actually here in San Antonio is called Mailgun, okay? so. Uh, this might be a little bit intimidating because when you go in there, it looks all tacky and it's a little bit of uh, setup that is required to make this work. But a web developer or a technical person should be able to set that up for you in like 10 to 15 minutes. And then you can actually send an email to one address, right? For example, the address would be newsletter at shanks.com okay so and then i have a list of subscribers that is that are defined in that tool then when i email to newsletter at shanks.com this service here will forward the emails to uh, everyone who is on that newsletter okay so uh, maybe you want to give this a try i believe mailgun has a free free account as well if i'm not mistaken okay if you want to uh, have more ideas like these and uh, you like what i have to say uh, please follow me yes here on linkedin you can follow people as well if this video is also somewhere else uh, do whatever is the equivalent of following on there okay we are friday and this might have been a very technical topic for a friday but i did want to share this with you i hope you have a wonderful weekend and uh, yeah I, I won't say see you monday because what i have found on linkedin actually is that a lot of busy professionals they actually find time 
Saturday, Sunday mornings, you know, those overachievers, those people that can never leave their company alone, they find time to be on there and I'm one of them. Okay, so maybe I'll see you uh, on LinkedIn over the weekend. And if, you, if you're not like that, uh, then I'll see you on Monday.